next question is about rugby league. Yes. The Kangaroos must win their clash with England on Sunday to keep alive their chances in the Four Nations tournament. A loss will see them become the first Aussie team to miss the final of an international rugby league tournament in 60 years, Cameron Smith. Mm. In their opening game, the Kangaroos were thumped by an understrength Kiwis outfit, even if they beat England and then topple Samoa the following weekend. The Aussies will most likely go into the November 15 final in Wellington as outsiders against New Zealand. So what did we make of the kangaroos kiwi shocker if you like what happened i'm entering this one yes. you are <laughs> uh well it was it was a shocker mel uh, i'll admit um although the kiwis were very good uh they played re extremely well um they were very enthusiastic they showed plenty of energy right from the start of the match um you know and, and our defense was poor you know just soft tries like this you know, we we turn over some cheap ball to the kiwis and you just can't do that at test level admittedly we had a lot of yeah you know, we had four debutants on the night you know their first crack at test football but all those guys have played in big matches before. They played in big matches for their club in the NRL. They, they played State of Origin. So they knew what it, what it took to play at that level, but we just weren't at the mark we needed to be. You're reasonably uh, demonstrative, it'd be fair to say, on the field. We love what you do for the Melbourne Storm. What do you say to the boys in the rooms post-match as the captain of the Kangaroos? Well, uh, well, I was pretty black and white, Howie, um, in the sheds after the game. Pretty much that our standards... Um, weren't reached that night. You know, we, we set ourselves quite high standards in the Kangaroos um, and we played poorly and if we didn't fix what we did that night then it would look, look like we weren't going to make the final. Is yeah, that a calm message or a, a message delivered with passion? No, well, a little bit of both. I think um, it needs to be calm for those new guys. You know, they don't want to be sort of scared away from the whole test football arena first up, you know. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't the right result that we wanted. Um, but we've got a great side. I know we've got a very good football side there. Um, and unfortunately, we just didn't play well. Um, I know what our capabilities are, and I'm sure it'll be uh, shown this week at Damie Park on Sunday against England. Indeed. Well, OK, we know how big the NRL is and, of course, the State of Origin series. As the captain mm. of Australia, there is a bit of talk. It, it's ongoing year in, year out, about um, how... I suppose, revered the, the, the test side is, the, yeah. the international competition, if you like. Where do you sit there? Yeah, well, I think it's, uh, it's a great competition. I, I'm glad to see that it's growing strong again. You know, when I was a little boy, mm. um, test football was the, the pinnacle of rugby league. Through time, I don't know what happened, but it sort of dipped down a little bit. But I think it's growing now off the back of a couple of really successful World Cups. Not so much for us in 2008 when the Kiwis beat us, but last year it was huge. You know, I think um, it just grew the game so much globally. Um, over in the UK, it was for eight weeks, um, and it's more popular than it ever has been. You know, the, there's so many more kids playing rugby league around the world. You know, it's such a popular sport now in New Zealand, where rugby union was, you know, the favoured sport. Um, you know, there's a lot of kids playing it down down in Melbourne now. You know, so it's growing every year. Um, I think there's a lot of talk about. You know, players not wanting to be involved in international football, considering we had a few guys um, step, de step out of the competition this year. But most of, all of those guys were injured. You know, they've, they've had surgery, you know, they've, got a, they've had a bad shoulder or, or something like that where they've been forced out. It's not because they don't want to play for the Kangaroos. Uh, trust me, every player wants to play for, the, for their country. And if that's the case, it will long continue, Cam. That's right, yeah. As you say, get down to the game if you're in Melbourne yeah. on the weekend. It will be a big one against England as well. Let's go to, let's welcome Andrew Marr. Well, Murray. Yeah, to lovely Savants. to be here, Mel, Howie, Cam and Sandy. The uh, punters still believe, Cam, they still believe in you uh, without any equivocation whatsoever. Ladbrokes.com.au, Australia, $1.33. England who struggled against Samoa at $3.30. You can see there the line is at 10 points. And for the tournament, the final, we know the grand final is going to be played over in New Zealand. They just shade mm. the Kangaroos for favouritism, $2, $2.10. The Poms might shorten if they can get the result on Sunday at Amy Park, but uh, the odds don't suggest that that's going to happen, Mel.